Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Pocket Coding Packets mini-series. In this episode, we're going to look at how to make titles in Minecraft. Um, somewhat recently, I made a video in the Bucket Coding tutorial series um, that demonstrated how to make titles using um, an API that I found. Uh, but this video will show you how to actually do it using packets, which I would imagine is how the API works. It kind of wraps it up nicely. Um, but we are going to actually look at how to do it with packets. Um, so we're going to, of course, be using a packet, and this is going to be the packet play out uh, title right there. And I'll uh, name it packet and new packet play out title. And you'll see uh, that there are a couple of different things. Uh, there's an empty constructor, there are two with uh, enumerator actions and iChat based components, and then one of them has three ints and one of them is just three ints with nothing else. The one that we want is this one that has the most stuff in it. The uh, enum thing, the iChat base component, and three ints. And they're all little, I think, snowmen. Um, so let's go through them. The first uh, thing is the enum title action. You can assume uh, safely uh, that that is an enumerator, and you'll see that it has clear reset subtitle times and title. And the two that we really care about are title and subtitle. If you have a reset or clear or times, you'll notice that there are other constructors that sort of go with that. So uh, if you look actually in here, uh, the constructors right here. So this one that contains the three times, you can see uh, that it refers to the uh, times title action. And then uh, this will just use negative one for all of the values. And you know, these you can kind of see that these have um, different uh, things that they do. But we want to use this constructor because uh, this is the constructor for making titles and subtitles. So uh, we'll start off with the title. Um, and then the next thing is going to be the iChat base component. And then the last three integers are going to be fade in time and ticks, display time and ticks, fade out time and ticks. So uh, we'll just say 20, 40, and 20. That means one second, two seconds, one second. Um, so essentially the uh, way the, these parameters here are going to be title or subtitle and then it's going to be text and then it's going to be fade in ticks display time in ticks and fade out in ticks that's kind of how that part works so the text if you remember we did the when I did the video about signs and per player signs, um, it's going to be very similar. It's going to be chat serializer dot a, and we're going to give it a string. And remember, this is JSON, um, so essentially you have these curly braces, uh, and then inside you have the word text written in escaped quotes, then a colon, and then in escaped quotation marks you have whatever message you want. So uh, it'll be um, We'll just say welcome. We'll just say welcome. And so there's our packet, and we can do e dot get player dot get sorry cra do craft player e dot get player dot get hand oops I forgot to import it dot get handle dot uh, get or I'm sorry it's like uh, player connection dot send packet packet. So this will construct a packet for the title. It'll be a title, uh, the text will be welcome, and it'll fade in for one second, display for two, and fade out for one. I put this inside of an async player chat event because I'm going to be lazy, and instead of using commands, I'm just going to say, uh, if the user types the message title, then it will display. And the reason why I did this is because... Uh, if I did this on the player join, then you don't see the fade in because it takes an extra second. Um, okay, 
So now when the user chats, if they say title, it will display a title through this packet here. So um, I'm going to export this and I was just having the server running. So I'm going to start the server up again and play. And then that is going to load up without errors. Great. And then I can join the server. Okay, there we go. So now I'm in the server, and you'll notice I'm going to type in the word title, and you'll see welcome fades in, displays, and then it'll fade out. So that is how you create titles. And, um,. Let's also do a subtitle. So maybe we'll call this one title, and we'll also have a subtitle. And then, of course, we want to send the packet title, and then we want to send the packet subtitle. So this one is, of course, going to be a subtitle, and the subtitle will be welcome to my server. OK, uh, so now we're creating two packets here. And I'm going to just say the word title. And you'll see it says, welcome to my server. They both fade in, and then they both fade out. So you can have a title and then uh, create a subtitle packet right under it. And it will just send both of them at the same time. And they will both display together, uh, just like that makes sense. So uh, this was a pretty quick video, but that's all that it takes to send titles. So titles are a really cool way of you know, alerting a user about something instead of maybe displaying the message in the console. Um, and it's pretty cool that it's so easy to do with packets, and now you don't need that dependency, that API that, uh, that we were using last time. So that uh, is pretty great. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. Uh, the packets tutorial series is nearing its end. There's only so many interesting packets to send, uh, but I'm still looking into more cool ideas. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. And at the end of this, I'm going to show how reflection ties in because there have been some people asking about uh, me using reflection, and I will demonstrate that, so don't worry. Alright, I'll uh, see you guys soon with some more coding, and bye for now.